congregations together and thanks for coming out on this rather brisk day um, we, we have two presentations that uh, we would like to receive this morning and I'm going to invite Jack Walsh and Ruth Parkins uh, Ruth is the board chairman from Valley United Way Jack is their president and CEO and Susan present this check to the area congregations together in an amount of $20,000 toward their capital campaign. second presentation this morning to, to kick off our capital campaign, uh, the generosity of the David M. Grant Family Fund through the Valley Community Foundation, and I'd ask Dave Grant to come forward, and his sons. from the new uh, form Valley Community Foundation of three years ago. I set up a uh, family fund, the David M. Grant Family Fund, and these are my two sons, Michael and uh, David, and they'll be uh, giving out the money. This is the first uh, check of many uh, to come in the future, and uh, we're very happy to help the Spooner uh, area congregation together, Spooner House, I call it, and congratulations. For some brief remarks, um, Representative Dick Belden, uh, who was instrumental in helping us acquire a, uh, a grant from the, Connecticut, the state of Connecticut. Dick, you want to say a few words? Thank you, and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It was my pleasure to return some of your tax dollars to Shelton for this very necessary project that we're here today to kick off, and, uh, and uh, on behalf of uh, the legislature and Governor Rell. Uh, the bond funds were made available for part of the cost, and I think that's a, a very good use of our tax dollars. Thank you. And a gentleman who, without his support, his encouragement, his patience uh, with me and, and the, the land use boards in Shelton, uh, this project would not be happening. Mayor Mark Loretti. Thank you, Wynn. Good morning, everyone, and I'll assure you this is not a day for speech making. But I would like to have a discussion with someone who scheduled a date. You know, all that wonderful weather we had in January. You know, I just I want to make a brief comment about you know where we are today and, and how appropriate this is. When the when the debate was raging on about the location of where this facility would go, uh, Joe Cagliaro, a senior, came to me and said, you know. There's a better location that we can propose and we can get everybody to buy into. And, you know, by and large, he was right. The opportunities up here on Bridgeport Avenue serve our clients in every way. 
and which is most important. There are employment opportunities, there are transportation opportunities, and, and the environment itself lends itself to uh, getting people in the right frame of mind to go out and, and, and do for themselves. Um, and I think this location does that. So we're all a winner, and that's what we're here for. Uh, unfortunately, Joe is no longer with us, as you know, and I just thought it was important that, that people understood that, you know, he was he was behind the support for this location. He was also the chairman of the Planning and Zoning Commission at the time that, that shepherded the project through. So, um, I'll say good luck. I know you don't need it because you'll make your own, and that's how we got to where we are today. So, God bless. This is truly a valley project. Uh, we serve the homeless needs of the entire valley, and, and I'm going to ask Mayor Staferi from Derby to come up and, and say a word or two. Just a word or two. Just like uh, Mayor Loretti said, it, it, a, di a different day would have been better. And uh, a different day in, in many ways that uh, this goes to show a cold day like this is why a project like this is needed. Uh, it, it's a worthy cause. I, I wish I was involved earlier where I could have been with more assistance, but you all did it without me. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to ask Bill Nimmons to come forward from the chamber. Uh, I'm sorry, Bill Purcell to come forward. They're both standing there. The business community has been extraordinarily helpful and encouraging, and, and through Bill Purcell's efforts and Bill Newman's efforts, we're able to do this project. I have three words, patience, perseverance, and commitment. Those are the three principles that have kept you all together and brought us to this day, this rather chilly day, and I echo the mayor's thoughts. It is days like today in nights like tonight that we realize how uh, this service is so vital for our most vulnerable citizens. You know, every night, and I've shared this with Susan, I say to my 10-year-old boy, how lucky you are to have this home. And I will bet you tonight the Spooner House is chock full. And it has indeed been chock full for these many nights. I went, went to the file today, and it was September of 2001 when our both chamber director and David Grant, board chair, that the chamber board adopted a resolution supporting a new Spooner house in this valley community. It was uh, April of 03 that we penned a letter to the PNZ board, Mr. Mayor, with your leadership in this community to uh, designate this site as the, the new home of the Spooner house. Just some thank yous and kudos, first to both mayors. Uh, to Mayor Stefari for your patience during this transition period and keeping Spooner House at that location and to Mayor Loretti for your leadership. Uh, you stood up very boldly and said, if we can't support our most vulnerable, then we're not doing our job as a community. And we credit you for that. Representative Belden for delivering the seed capital, which is so vital uh, to make this day possible. Uh, to uh, Joe Magani and Joan, uh, the architects extraordinaire, my friends, uh, for your great work and the beautiful design and the beautiful home you're creating for our citizens. Uh, to Bill Nimmons and John Roman for providing the other capital, the private capital, and the bridge loan uh, is so vital. And finally, to the Board of ACT for your divine intervention and guidance over these six long years to bring us to this day. We'll see you for lunch up at the chamber where the heat is on. Thank you very much. Congratulations, <laughs> Wynn. My remarks are just extraordinarily short. To everyone here, to everyone who has had a hand in this, uh, we've got some former board members, area congregations here, Jack Brady, Jack DiBiazzo, uh, Laura Tusio, who was instrumental in, in keeping the project moving forward, could not be here. But thank you all for your patience, thank you for your encouragement, and we'll do this in the spring of 08 on a much warmer day with a building. Thank you very much. I'd like to add my thanks to those that have been stated already. And just a few other people that I would like to acknowledge very quickly here today. Um, the folks from the Connecticut Health and Educational Facilities Authority, CHIFA, who provided grant funding for this project, the Community Foundation for Greater New Haven, the Catherine Matthews Foundation, um, all of 
all of those groups have provided important funding to help us move this project along, and, and those are here today. Thank you for being a part of it. Thank you also to the Connecticut Coalition to End Homelessness, Carol Walter, Executive Director, for your support and advocacy on behalf of us and all of us throughout the state who serve the, those in need. Each one of you has played an important role in getting us to this point, and um, I know that on behalf of the staff and the board of ACT, we are encouraged and filled with confidence knowing that you'll be with us all the way through to the completion of this project. Um, this community has been, has always been supportive, and uh, want to just take an opportunity to thank you again. Um, and last but not, by no means least, uh, thanks to Professional Tire, our neighbors next door. They have been good neighbors since we looked at the site. Um, through the purchase, they've been supportive of the project. They've allowed Holly Construction Corporation and ACT to put the trailer on their property, use their parking lot. Um, so uh, we thank them and I encourage all of you to shop for your next set of tires next door. <laughs> thank you all.